was, but we've got big concerns here. I mean, this is a buzzsaw heading toward the northern islands of the Lesser Antilles, and this is going to really decimate some of the islands. Mandatory evacuation is in effect for many areas along the Texas coast. Utter devastation. In the town of Rockport, entire blocks are decimated. We have nothing, nothing left. British Virgin Islands look like they've been hit by the blast wave of a bomb. So we've seen six hurricanes in the space of uh, just over three weeks. And one of the things that's um, particularly notable about that, not just the number of them, but the fact that most of them achieved at least a Category 4 or Category 5 status, that's considered to be a major tropical system. What, what's really sort of, I don't know, I don't want to say scary, but it's, it's, it's concerning in, in a way because to have that many Category 4 and that many Category 5 hurricanes move through the same region affecting the same land masses, getting up to the highest strength that's possible over an ocean surface that is 4 or 5 degrees warmer than it usually is, means that there's something that's changed in the entire system. We see the, the, the potential for um, more precipitation and more intense precipitation falling. It's, it's, it's a function of not just how much falls, but what it's falling onto. And so if it's falling onto impervious surfaces, paved surfaces, the potential for flooding will probably increase. If it's falling onto uh, forested lands or agricultural lands, um, as long as they're not 100% saturated, then there's more of a likelihood that the rain will actually sort of make its way down through and recharge you know, groundwater aquifers.